what's up guys welcome back to the usc arena usc 263 is almost upon us and finally we are going to talk about the main event israel the last style bender adesanya versus marvin the italian dream vittori their last fight took place in 2018 three years ago and this is a highly anticipated rematch because a lot has changed since then adesanya is now the undisputed middleweight champion and marvin vittori is on a very solid six fight win streak and finally it's time for them to clash once again the good thing about rematches is that we have the first fight to go off of. The first fight was a close fought split decision win for Israel Adesanya. Although I don't think it should have been a split decision, I think Adesanya pretty clearly won the fight. But Marvin Vittori took the third round due to his wrestling and his takedowns. Adesanya was able to outstrike Vittori on the feet pretty easily, whereas Vittori had a clear advantage on the ground. Adesanya's takedown defense has gotten significantly better since then, even though he was taken down and held down in his last fight. But if we look back to that fight versus Yan, we could see that Yan's size played a significant factor in that fight. When he was able to get Adesanya down, and fair play to Yan, he had some excellently timed takedowns. But when he was able to get Adesanya down, you could see that he was just so heavy on top of him that Izzy was unable to get up. While I do think that Vittori in this upcoming fight may be able to take down Adesanya, I don't think he would have the same success that Yan had because I don't think he would be able to hold on Adesanya like Yan did. Even though in their first fight he was able to hold on Adesanya, I think that the improvements Adesanya has made would allow him to 1. Not get taken down in the first place or 2. Scramble more effectively so that he would not stay down on the ground. With that being said, I do think that Vittori still poses a significant threat to Adesanya and it's a tough matchup in the sense that he does present the takedown threat and he's also very tough which means that even though Izzy has the advantage in the striking it would be pretty difficult to put Marvin Vittori away the confidence is just beaming from Marvin Vittori right now you can see that he has a lot of belief in his abilities he's not afraid to get in a dog fight he's not afraid to get hit and he will press forward he pressed forward in the first fight and I think this fight wouldn't be any different However, I think that Adesanya would be very vigilant with regards to the takedowns in this fight and he also said himself that he's coming to prove a point this time because Marvin Vittori held on to that split decision loss as if it was a win and he'd always talk about how he won the fight and to this day he still thinks he won the fight. So Izzy's goal this time around is to leave no doubt in Marvin Vittori's mind that he is better and Marvin Vittori likewise wants to leave no doubt that he actually won the fight and he actually can beat Izzy. They are both supremely confident but one of them has to lose and I do think that person is Marvin Vittori. And there are several reasons why. One, Adesanya has excellent takedown defense so I do not think Vittori will be able to take Izzy down and win three rounds comfortably. Secondly, Adesanya has a significant striking advantage and even with the improvements that Vittori has made, I don't think that he's anywhere close to the striking ability that Izzy has. I don't think that he'll be able to beat Izzy on the feet at all. Thirdly, I think that Adesanya has a better gas tank than Vittori. We saw when Vittori went 5 rounds with Jack Hermanson, it was really beginning to take a toll on him and he was breathing heavy and he was getting tired. Adesanya has an excellent gas tank and people with his frame usually do. So not only do I think that Adesanya would be able to keep the fight standing for most of it and outstrike Vittori, I also think that he is going to be the fresher fighter going into the championship rounds. With all that being said, I think Adesanya is going to win a 5 round decision. I'm going to say 60% Adesanya, 40% Marvin Vittori. If there is a finish in this fight, I think it would be Adesanya finishing Marvin Vittori via KO. But yes, that's it for my prediction for this fight. It should be an entertaining one, especially with these two personalities in the octagon. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some shenanigans, if there's some trash talk, if there's some back and forth, and I'm here for all of it. That's the end of this video. Please remember to like, please remember to subscribe. We are on the road to 200 subscribers, so help your boy out. Leave a subscription, and I'll see y'all in the next one.